Hello and welcome to an Everyday Canines video. This is the Weave Game series and in this episode I want to look at um, teaching your dog to understand different number of weaves. So, in a competition, your commonest set of numbers for weave poles would be a set of six or a set of 12. Sometimes if you've taught a dog a lot of one set of those, so a lot of 12s or a lot of sixes, what happens is the dog gets used to that pattern and then they stop driving on for when there's a, a different set. So sometimes it's a case if they're used to 12s, they pop out sixes or vice versa. So it's always a good idea to mix and match your weave sets numbers. So we've done a lot of work in these games on fours. So sometimes I'll switch up to 12s, sometimes I'll go back to fours, and I would do sixes, except when I built my weave pole sets, I had a bit of a crazy moment and I failed to arrange them so they could break into six. So if I want to do six, I have to get my stick in the grounds back out. But you would, you would, you know, you, you vary it up. If you're running, if you're drawing, doing a course, you vary up what you're gonna do. But the one I want to really talk to you about is nines. I have here a set of nine weave poles. Nine weave poles are still allowed in kennel club competitions currently, but you will rarely see them. However, every now and again, a judge goes, I'm gonna put that in. You're saying, well, if my dog can do sixes and twelves, what does it matter? There is quite a fundamental difference between a nine, even though it's a multiple of three. When your dog does a set of six or 12, they always leave the weave poles on the left. When your dog does a set of nine, they will be leaving the weave pole on the right. And this causes some dogs a lot of problems. Sparrow being one of them, because Sparrow went, it's wrong to leave on the right side. So what she would do, she'd leave early. Because um, she was trying to find, she could see there was only one more pole, so she'd leave early. And I know this happens a lot with dogs. Now, how often do you get sets of nine? Not often. You probably may never see them in agility crowd. I don't think I've seen a set of nine in the last year, but they are still legal. So you say to yourself, look, maybe once in a blue moon, I'm going to see it. Do I really need to worry? Here's the thing. By training nine, you are actually helping your dog to proof your ordinary weaves because you're teaching your dog. It's not about the side they leave on. It's about keep weaving until you run out of poles. So this is good for teaching a dog that you don't finish on 10, that um, you, you know, it, it is good for any of that sort of situation where your dog suddenly goes, oh, well, I've done six, uh, I've done eight. I, I don't really need to do the rest of them, do I? You know, that 10th pole syndrome. So if you teach your dog that actually, it's not just about where you're coming out, it's about finishing those poles, it's good. And I'd rather do this than some of the challenges you get where you set up 15 weave poles, something like that because that's a lot of work on your dog. I'd rather do something like this, um, where they're learning in a, on a reasonable number. And because I've got a full set, or near enough a full set, I'm not gonna be doing too many repetitions. But what I will be doing is I'll be setting my dog up for success. So I have got my manners minder, which is on, yes. And I have set it up instead of where it would normally be on the left or straight ahead, I have set it up on the right so that Sparrow can see it and that will help her to know where she's got to go, hopefully. I'm not sure the last time Sparrow did a set of nine, by the way. All right, Sparrow. So let's see what she does. Okay. That was random. Pulse, 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 pulse. Oops, we missed a few there. This is also a bit of distraction training for Sparrow because the manners minder really blows her brain. Pulse, 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 oopsie. So you see, it isn't the correct number of poles. I don't know, shh, shh, shh. nose, nose, down. I don't know how she works out weave poles. I can't get in her head. I don't know if there's some sort of pattern she sees that she knows when there are sixes or twelves. I don't know what it is, why when there's nine, she goes, I have to come out early on the wrong side. We'll try it once more, and if the tree and tread is pausing too much, we'll have to go back to a different toy. Okay, come here. Come here. 
Pulse! 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 Oh, nearly! Nearly! <laughs> so she nearly got her, but that last pole blew her brain. Okay, so I want to help her. So I'm just going to ask her to come out there. Yes! Because you can see, that was pretty much what she would do in competition. She went... I, I don't come out on the right hand side. Come here. So I'm going to set her up on this one. Pulse. Yes. Now you could actually set this up a different way. Good girl. You could set this up rather than having a full set. You could set this up on three poles. Three. <laughs> three poles um, will mimic this because it will mimic. It's effectively just having like this end bit. So you could do this. You could sometimes. Sometimes instead of having four poles set up, you could set them up as three just to practice this. Right, let's see if you can do the whole thing. And that would help them without doing a lot of repeti repetitions because I don't want too many repetitions. Ready. Come here. Come here, you're too close. Pulse, 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 pulse. Nah. She said, I still don't get it. My, gra my poles are a little bit on a, on a huh. That's why they keep moving. Okay, so let's go. Pulse. Yes. So let's take her back a couple. Pulse. Come here. Pulse. Yes! Good girl. So you can see that it can really blow their brains. And it's another little proofing game to play with. You're not going to play it a lot because you don't want your dog to come out on the right hand side. Pulse. Come here. Come here. Pulse. 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 Oh, so close! I thought you had it then. Okay, one more. Pulse. Yes! So yeah, so you don't want to play that a lot because it isn't the normal way your dog would come out. But it's a game you can play as another proofing exercise because I really want my dogs to understand that you weave until the weave poles run out. Not because you come out on the left. And it wasn't until I had this problem with Sparrow that I realised that was a thing with her, that she understood that I leave the weave poles on the left rather than thinking to herself there's another pole just keep going it won't be the case of all dogs good girl but if you do have a dog like that it's a good proofing game it's a good proofing game for any dog good girl i hope you've enjoyed this everyday canines video and if you have you might like to subscribe to the youtube channel or check us out on instagram or facebook and you've got a bouncy spaniel it's not easy hey okay. And if you have enjoyed it, you might like to come and join us again very, very soon.